welcome to Tony's tutorial and today I bring forward basic biomechanics in capsular form that is some foundational concept in biomechanics in very short video without compromising the learning and what we have today we have here the gravity center of mass or center of gravity of the human body line of gravity and finally center of mass in human beings one is gravity what is gravity asking the question what is gravity is like a very question like asking what is light in this room everywhere we I have the light but I cannot define it but light I can see it but uh, gravity is an invisible force so gravity is an invisible force that act on every object on the earth or it act on one object to another but we are not going to discuss about the physics of that we want its biomechanical annotation that is gravity is a force that is acting or acted on by the earth or more clearly gravity is a force that act on human body by the earth is that? gravity is the force that acts on human body because we are studying about a human body by the earth it is a force that pulls body towards the earth. What is that? It is a force that pulls the human body towards earth. So gravity is a force. It is an invisible force which pulls the body into the earth, to the earth. It is the pull of earth on a body. And it is one of the most consistent force that act on the human body. Right? Every time I have gravity acting, it is always consistent. I have no escape from it. Okay? And it is also one of the most influential force acting on the human body. It is also one of the most influential force. Invisible force acting on human body. Influential in the sense because we study in posture various moments, internal moments, etc. Those are all acting against the gravitational force which act on every segment in the human body. So it is a consistent, it is an influential and it is an invisible force and it is always the it is present throughout, it is always the it pulls the body towards the earth. And it is also a natural force, natural phenomenon. It is also a natural phenomenon. Okay. So we define gravity as an invisible force that act on every object, every object. And in terms of human body, we define gravity as a force that act on human body and a force that pulls human body towards the earth, attracts the human body towards earth. It is one of the most consistent force that act on the human body. It is one of the most influential force. It is an invisible force and it is also a natural phenomenon which exists throughout. And now we move on to the next concept that is center of mass what is that okay i told you gravity is acting every time on an object on the earth for example on every human being gravity is acting but where does gravity act for example if i'm considering me as a segment from head to toe where in the human body where in my body gravity is acting i cannot take all the points it acts on the neck it acts on the trunk it acts on the pelvis it acts on the uh, knee etc i cannot take it as a complete segment then my study would be difficult for that we assume a point what is that we assume a point in which gravity is acting that is an assumption that's not the real point really the gravity is acting throughout my body but we assume that gravity is acting on a single point and that single point in which the gravity is acting we call it as the center of mass or center of gravity of the body or more clearly it is a hypothetical point that means an imaginary point in which the entire mass of an object is assumed to be concentrated for example if in my body if gravity is acting in my this level for example right okay then I assume that my entire mass that mass that mass of the body is assumed to be concentrated in that single point 
So it is a hypothetical point in which the entire mass of the body is assumed to be concentrated. That is what the center of mass or center of gravity. It can be alternatively called center of mass or center of gravity. Am I clear? Right. So in human beings, we have a particular location. We will study that. So it is always a hypothetical. It is also in an assumption. It is always an imaginary point for making our study simplified. We assume that this gravity is acting on a segment at a particular point. For example, if this is a square, we will assume that this is a center of mass of that object. And this is through the where the gravity is going to act. Clear? Now, if the object is symmetrical, if the object is symmetrical, center of mass is at the center because we can assume that, for example, if we have a ball with us, we can assume that the center of mass of that ball is to be at its center. That is where the mass is concentrated. The center of mass will be at the center. If the object is asymmetrical, if the object is asymmetrical, the center of mass will be at the heavier side. At the heavier side always remember this concept for example i have a block like this or a wedge like this where the center of mass will be located it will be located for not at the center here but move from the center to the heavier side so if I, I have an heavy object or an asymmetrical object the center of mass will be located towards the heavier side because what is center of mass it is a point where mass is assumed to be concentrated and this will be the point where mass will be assumed to be concentrated so any sort of asymmetrical object then the center of mass is at the heavier side of that object always remember this key concept if it is a hollow object eh, the center of mass can be outside the body and sometimes even in human beings it can be outside the body we'll see that later outside the body if it is a hollow object for example if it is a pipe like this or a ring like this the center of mass will be located outside the body okay the center of mass will be located outside the body and even in human beings we can have a situations in which a center of mass may be located outside if i'm standing like this my center of mass may be outside the body we'll study that later so key concept symmetrical objects at the center asymmetrical objects at the heavier side hollow objects or even in human body at particular situation not always in human body it can be outside the center body so what you can say center of mass is a point at which we can balance the object for example you have might have seen people balancing book like this like this okay so this balancing point they will be twisting the book like this very easily very fastly okay and even pen etc so this is the point where you can balance that object so center of mass can be a point where you can balance one object with a finger that means the mass is concentrated and that is. So center of mass can also be defined as a point in which we can balance an object even with a single finger. Okay. So that is the concept of center of mass. Now, what is line of gravity? What is line of gravity? We saw that gravity is a force. It's a natural force. No? When every force can be made into a force vector. Okay. A force vector will have... For example, a point of application, it will have a direction and it will have a magnitude also. So we will study about force vector, force system in separate video. But just understand every force, for example, this is the gravitational force. It is having the point of application. It is having its direction and it is having its magnitude also. This point of application is what the center of mass. Or center of gravity this point of application is the center of mass or center of gravity right and the direction will always be down and it will be the always towards the down because earth is going to accept the gravity not from the sky so it is going always down so what is line of gravity it is this gravitational force vector so it is the gravitational force vector on a body is known as the line of gravity or simple you can tell it is a line of pull of gravity line of pull of gravity this line of pull of gravity is known as the line of gravity it is just a line it's not something that really exists we define it 
from every single point of the center of mass for example if this is the center of mass if gravity is exerting force like this this is the line of gravity this is the line of gravity for every object you will have a line of gravity it is a gravitational force vector or it is the line of pull of gravity am i clear always remember every object has a single center of mass if you consider it as a one single thing you cannot have a center of mass for this ball here and here will have only one single center of mass but if you are cutting it into two then of course you will have segmental center of mass which we will study again later so every object for time being has a single center of mass this can be defined as a plump line of course you can see that a plump line with the way it is painted okay this can be this gravitational force vector or line of gravity can be seen or compared as a uh, plump line with a weight suspended plump line with a weight suspended that is how we examine the line of gravity and gravitational force vectors in the posture so what is line of gravity it is a gravitational force vector or line of pull of gravity and it can be uh, equivalent or compared to a what a plump line with a weight suspended Finally, we move on to the last concept that is known as center of mass of center of mass actually center of mass is a hypothetical point in which all mass of a object is assumed to be concentrated so in human being this location is not the anterior to s2 vertebrae approximately anterior to s2 vertebrae that is in human beings we consider in a human we consider the entire mass is considered to be located slightly anterior to the s2 vertebrae it is an approximation remember why because you studied that we studied that center of mass moves to the heavier side for example if a person is having greater weight on the upper limb and greater weight on the trunk upper trunk of course the center of mass will vary in that person so this is an approximate point in which the entire mass of human being is assumed to be concentrated and that point in an adult is anterior to s2 vertebrae in anatomical position in anatomical position remember that in anatomical position when position vary center of mass can vary what is that when position vary center of mass can vary for example if i'm standing straight in anatomical position like this it is anterior to s2 vertebrae but for example in this situation when i'm leaning forward like this you can guess that your weight of head arm and trunk is two by third the body weight that is greater than the body weight of lower limb so what can happen my center of mass will move to the heavier side because we studied that in an asymmetrical object center of mass moves to the heavier side so in this situation my center of mass will lift up okay and it will move to the thoracic level or above the s2 vertebrae above anterior to s2 vertebrae it will move to the heavier side to the arm trunk region so there can be a situation in which my center of mass can move even outside the body if i'm leaning too much forward this is the situation when we fall down this center of mass will fall move exactly away from the body outside the body that is through here center of mass will be acting the gravity will be acting so when we are leaning too much forward the center of mass can even go outside the body so center of mass in human body is going to assume to be concentrated approximately anterior to s2 vertebrae it is an approximation it can vary according to the body's weight disposition or weight um, weight changes okay and also the center of mass in is in the uh, anterior to s2 vertebrae in anatomical position when position changes center of mass can vary when i am moving anterior or when i am leaning forward my center of mass will lift to the heavier side because head arm and trunk is more heavy when i am leaning too much forward it can even move outside the body and that can compromise stability right we have some terms like uh, in newborn the center of mass is located uh, above the umbilicus, above the umbilicus, umbilicus level. Okay. Whereas in six months, it is located at the thoracic vertebrae six. In two years, it is located at the level of umbilicus, at the level of umbilicus. By five year, it is located below umbilicus, below umbilicus. And by adulthood, it is located 
anterior to S2 vertebrae. So this is the pattern that is newborn, the umbilicus, above the umbilicus, six months it is at the thoracic level, six and two years it is becoming at the level of umbilicus, then five years it goes down below the umbilicus and finally it goes down to anterior to S2 vertebrae. With that we wind up the session and next session we have basal support and its relation to stability and the center of mass of human body. Until then stay tuned and if you haven't subscribed to the channel kindly subscribe to the channel and like the video.